one. New message. Uh, hello? Hello? Hi? Uh, junior manager here. Uh, so you're the new security guard, right? Yeah, it's, it's great to finally have someone qualified for the job, you know? <laughs> uh, we had to, like, share the shift because, you know, someone has to be here during the night. Uh, but, but with you, uh, now we have more energy to be here during the day. Uh, you see, we're probably going to be a lot busier from now on. Um, you may have heard about the place called Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria, right? Uh, yeah, they got shut down yesterday. I don't know why, though. Uh, probably something like uh, tax fraud or such, you know. Uh, I never really liked that place. I always had a bad feeling about it, you know. Uh, their pizzas weren't even that good. Uh, anyway, I think you're going to fit in really well here. The staff are really nice. Uh, we make sure to help each other out on everything. Like, uh, when, when we close late in the evening, we all make sure that the floors and tables are probably cleaned and all the dishes has been washed before we get off of the day. Uh, now, in order to save power, of course, all the lights will at night be turned off. But don't worry, we have a desk lamp in the office that you can use. If you open up the maintenance panel, you'll be able to view the restaurant through the security cameras and the cameras all have a neat feature, which is night vision mode. These cameras were the cheapest we could get, so the night vision isn't that accurate, but it does retain the colors, which is good, I guess. Um, you can toggle the night vision by activating the camera you're already on. And uh, by the way, we have a security feature in the restaurant that limits how much power can be used after hours. Uh, this is mainly so that our electricity bill doesn't skyrocket during a night if somebody forgot to turn off something somewhere, you know. Now, um, your office is also the information area, which you can tell because of the window counter in front of you. Uh, there should be a button underneath the desk, too. This is for the security door in front of your window. Uh, to your left and right are also two doors. These doors are, um... Uh, a, a little stupid. Um, you see, they require power to be closed. Um, I think it was something about some computer or somewhere always checking if they're closed or not. Or maybe it was a security feature, you know, in case the place goes dark. Uh, like, if there was a power outage, you know, you, you would be stuck here. But the doors open up automatically if that happens. Um, all three doors are power-driven, so basically don't use too much power, otherwise the place will shut off completely. Um, but, but don't worry, as I said, the doors will open up if that happens, so you won't be trapped. Uh, I, I think that was all for now. Uh, yeah, uh, good luck on your first night here, uh, don't fall asleep, and have a good night.
you have. One. New message. Uh, hello? Hello? Uh, see? I told you to do just fine. Uh, anyway, I thought I'd mention. Uh, we, we have this little, um, uh, list of, uh, <clears throat> problems uh, that we have observed with the animatronics over some time. Uh, it, it's, it's nothing to be concerned about, but, but the animatronics do have a few minor glitches. Uh, yeah, uh, We're of course trying to get them fixed, uh, but you should know some of them so you don't get uh, uh, nervous if you hear anything. Let me see... Um, the animatronics sometimes start to walk around on their own. Uh, sometimes in the morning we find them in the strangest places. <laughs> uh, so you may see them walking around while you're here. Uh, let me see. Some of their sensors are a bit wonky. Uh, and, and, oh, and in case the animatronics is experiencing violence towards a guest, the animatronic will try to seek out the cause and uh, stop it. Uh, yeah, yeah, I, I have no idea how it decides to do that, but it, it doesn't seem to mind it with the children, though. It, it's, it's weird. If, the, if there are children playing cops and robbers, you know, and one of them gets shot, you know, uh, the animatronics don't really do anything out of the ordinary. Um, except after that day, uh, the animatronics don't really seem to function properly around adults. Uh, especially not around the staff. Uh, yeah, the animatronics seem to ignore you most of the time, you know, unless you come near them. And they just turn their heads and look at you. Like, as if you just told a bad joke. <laughs> I, I don't know, it, it, it's kind of creepy. Um, but, yeah, we kind of had an accident about a month ago. It, it seems to have, like, traumatized their systems or something like that. Uh, anyway, we replaced the faulty animatronic with some brand new ones. Yeah, so he's stored way in the back until we can get someone to fix him. Anyway, if I were you, I'd keep the other ones at a distance and uh, use the doors if you have to. Um, that would be it for now. Uh, ha have a good night.
new message. Uh, hello? <laughs> Looks like you're doing a fine job. I mean, you're still here. <laughs> uh, you're already, like, practically as good as the last guard we had. Except, of course, you know, he got fired in the end. But, yeah, he, uh, he kind of damaged one of the animatronics during his shift. Uh, I mean, you wouldn't do that, would you? No way. Um, I guess he went a little crazy, you know, being alone in the dark each night. Uh, you know that character that the kids can draw on, you know? Uh, blank, I think? Uh, yeah, I always really liked that one. It's, it's a brilliant concept. Uh, yeah, his suit is made out of some special plastic stuff, I think, uh, that the kids can come in and, you know, uh, grab a crayon and uh, start drawing on his head or his arms. Uh, some of the others here think that he looks a bit scary um, after that whole uh, security guard thing. Uh, we, we tried our best to fix him, but uh, parts of him like his left hand and the back of his head are still missing. Uh, but, but the kids don't really seem to mind it, you know, so it's not a major issue. Um, yeah, from what we can tell, uh, his head got a real beating, so he might act a little uh, strange. Um, like, he sometimes tried to get into the office through the window, and he even managed to crack the glass slightly once. Uh, yeah, if he leaves the drawing room, just shut the window door so he doesn't break the glass. Those old ones couldn't really see glass very well. Um, by the way, we're expecting more customers over the course of the next days, so next week we may need you on the day shift too, if you're up for it. Um, well, anyway, have a good night.
message. Uh, hello? Just checking in, making sure you're a-okay. Uh, so remember that previous security guard I told you about? Yeah, so we got a call from the police today. Um, apparently he has gone missing. Um, I guess he actually was a bit crazy. Uh, I, I remember it like the day before his last night of the week. Uh, he asked me to be with him on his shift that night. Um, he, he told me there was something he had to show me. I know, it sounds crazy, right? <laughs> Uh, although I declined, he still showed up for his shift, so... Um, then of course, the next morning we found out that the uh, blank character had been severely damaged, you know. And then we checked the surveillance equipment, we found out that he had bought a wrench and completely smashed blank. Um, he had also left the building in the middle of his shift after that. I mean, he must have, you know, he was nowhere to be found the next morning. We couldn't contact him or anything. So, the manager just fired him and sent him a pink slip, you know. Uh, anyway, I'll leave you to your work. Yeah, stay tight and we'll talk again tomorrow. Have a good night.
messages. Hey, how's it going? Oh, sorry. I have a latte here. Uh, anyway, I, uh, I have one last thing to tell you. Um, Alright, you've probably noticed uh, that there is an extra door in the second party room, uh, which is on um, camera 9, I think. <clears throat> Uh, it's it's not on the map. That's because it's it's really nothing special. It's it's like a storage room. Uh, we don't go in there much. Like I I haven't even been in there myself. You know. I, I just wanted to inform you that you don't need to worry about it, and that it's not a mistake. That it's not on the map or anything like that. Uh, anyway, uh, you've done a great job so far. Uh, I'll talk to you next week. Uh, good night.
um, do know that you don't have to be here today, right? Well, I guess you're just very committed to the job then. Uh, but anyway, uh, you've done a great job this week. So now please take a break tomorrow, okay? Now, see you next week. Good night.